Near the front line, close to the city of Slavyansk, Ukrainian troops prepare to target Russian positions. They know this next battle will be crucial. I think that uh, the Slavyansk is the next, next big uh, aim for Russians. Do you think you can stop them? Sure. You can? We will. We will. Blasts of artillery, the familiar sounds of this war. But there's also a quieter, harder to see battle involving drones and electronic warfare, jamming and tracking signals. The Russians have a lot of stuff for blocking the drones, for blocking the signal with the remote control, with the camera and so on. It's also a dangerous game of hide and seek, as we soon found out. Just hearing some sound of aircraft, they've told us the Ukrainian soldiers here to take cover under the trees. The Russians are flying over these positions, trying to spot where they are. It's a uh, uh, Russians. Uh, They've been using area. drones, uh, small Russia cheap Russia ones, Russia. to spot enemy yeah, positions and direct uh, artillery. They've can, already uh, lost five. Okay. Some, but they believe uh, they're getting uh, results. Uh, Back at base, they're even the making their own bombs to target the Russians. We have uh, confirmed three or four mortars, one tank, uh, maybe up to 100 soldiers. And, F five or six ammunition, yeah. Okay. So we have a good results for the ten people. <laughs> the Russians aren't just tracking their drones, they're also trying to jam communications. But US technology is helping overcome that. At another secret location, they're using one of the thousands of Starlink satellite units provided by Elon Musk. Elon Musk, whoa. Ah, Russia. Oh, hello, Barishnya, Barishnya, там, звездок у меня. The other Western name as popular among Ukrainian troops is Boris Johnson. But even though he'll soon be gone, there's still hope that Britain will continue to back Ukraine. А зараз ми просто захищаємо західні цінності. Now we are defending Western values here. Modernizing our army and providing sufficient weapons will bring peace to your country, to you in Britain. Russia is already targeting the city of Slovyansk. It still outguns Ukraine and has the advantage in electronic warfare. Homegrown ingenuity and Western support is making a difference. But is it sufficient to halt the Russian advance?